products. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I like to raise my eyebrows when I do a makeup look using a Pritt stick. So I first of all like to brush my hair upwards. And then I'm just using the original Pritt stick and what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to start brushing it up through my eyebrows, literally as flat as possible. I carry on doing this throughout the whole eyebrow until they are all standing up by themselves and are separated. I will then demonstrate this onto the other eye. I will then let those eyebrows dry. And then what you want to do is go in with a second layer and also wait for that one to dry too. Okay guys, I'm looking crazy and I've just finished doing my other brows so I can show you what I do to this one. So I like to use these two concealers to make a thick paste. I will then completely cover my eyebrows using that concealer. I will then use a powder foundation and pack that onto the brow to set it. And that's how I like to eliminate my eyebrows and look like an egg. Okay guys, so this is how I like to do my smoky wings liner. Obviously, I've already started. So I start off by packing on a brown shadow in the shape of a wing. I then start to blend it out with a lighter brown shade. And then again, pack on another dark shadow in the shape of a wing. And then all over your lid, brush over a bronzer. Pack on a black on the inner corner. And then blend it out using another black shadow. Then finally, clear it up, pop on some lashes, and there we go. There is your smoky winged liner. Story time, the most psychotic dude I've ever hooked up with. So his first question was, what's your body count? Naturally, I divided my true number by five to give him a much prettier number to look at. Once he was satisfied with my answer, he decided we should talk and try to pursue a relationship. So we start to talk, but he would vocally express to me he didn't like that I lived 30 minutes away because he could not regularly stop by and check in my dorm to make sure I was not sleeping with other people. So I didn't text him for two hours because I had to study for an exam, and he goes, well, you're a whore and you probably gave me gonorrhea. You're putting my life and my son's life in danger. Well, an STD is sexually transmitted, so it's concerning I'm putting your son's life in danger, but two weeks prior, I got a test. Ring, ring. The results are in. I'm clean. So he then proceeds to say, I will tell everyone you love. I'll make a PowerPoint presentation, show it to your college to show everyone how nasty you are. I wasn't concerned, so I blocked him. He then texts me off of his son's phone and goes, I have an infinite amount of resources. Don't block me again. Trying to scare me. Well, I blocked the son. Radio silence. Where's your infinite amount of resources? Through your nose without any failures. Let's go. First, you're gonna need your bronzer. Take the bronzer on a brush, and literally what you start doing is bronze your entire nose from tip all the way to the bridge. It's gonna look like a mess right now, but trust me, we will pull through. Okay, now here's the trick. You take your face powder and a dry beauty blender, and you're gonna snatch the sides. The more you bring this in, the smaller your nose is gonna look. So we're gonna make this as big as you like. Hmm? Like literally, look how small that looks already. Don't forget the bridge. Wanna make that nice and light as well. Boo! Take a big phrase, faith breath. Oh my God, English, what even is it? And start buffing all of this out until it's soft. Some highlighter to just the tip and the bridge, and you're done. My favorite makeup products. First of all, I love the Lottie London Oil Stick. For foundation, I absolutely love the Bare Minerals one in the shade Toffee 19. I then pop on the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Light. A bit of concealer, this one's from Maybelline. For the brows, I love the Be Perfect Brow Pencil in the shade Charcoal. I then use the Fenty Beauty Setting Powder in the shade Banana. A spritz of the Lottie London Dewy Setting Spray because it is so hot. <laughs> Popping on a little bit of the Kiko Blusher in the shade Unlimited. The Sleek Highlight Palette in the shade Fire It Up. Any mascara, this is the Lancome Drama Mascara. This is a must, the Primark Lash Glue. Then I've popped on my favourite lashes from Be Perfect in the style Inspire. The Bare Minerals Lip Liner in the shade On Point. And then finally, the Thrill Seeker Lipstick from Primark. And those are my favourite... Party story time! Okay, so I went to a party and I showed up there super early because I'm literally that person. Anyways, I was talking to the guy throwing the party and I'm like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. I don't really want to drink. Yes, I'm literally the lamest person alive. Anyways, he's like, okay, do you want he a bottle of vodka? Boy, I just told you I didn't want to drink. And he's like, oh, no, like an empty one. Wait, you can no, fill no. up with water okay, and pretend you're drinking. You and I'm like, I mean, I didn't even you're know a know genius. Like so I do just that. And I walk around the party drinking out of this 
bottle of vodka that actually has water in it. People literally thought it was legendary. They thought I was getting oh, so God. drunk. So basically, so... at this point, I was lying to everybody at the party. Yeah. So anyways, you I get see all thirsty, these, so I all these curly and start stuff? chugging this like, bottle of vodka dude, that's actually water. It goes into one. And I look like, to my left. One, two, there's, there's five of them, okay? I at... took the tiniest okay, one. I have, I just... like, a really gross, disgusting story time, so just listen. So, like, in seventh grade, like, girls at my middle school thought it was, like, trendy and, like, cute and quirky to, like, piss your pants like at school like do it at school like they would like laugh so hard that like <laughs> oops like they peed themselves and like would keep it on their butt all day and then they would like ask for like their crush's sweatshirt to like cover up like the pee on their butt just because like they're so cute and quirky and i remember this one girl pissed herself at a choir concert backstage in the choir room and the whole entire choir room smelled for like a day and there was just a puddle of pee on the seat and she literally had to go to the bathroom and wet her whole pants so that you couldn't tell that she pissed herself like it got to the point where like two or three girls a day were walking around the school with pee on their butt and like no one said anything like it was cute and trendy and like even the guys jumped on it they were like oh, oh my god like she peed like what <laughs> like it's just so like unbelievable but like it literally happened and i don't crazy story time about how my mom kidnapped my sister so my mom and dad split whenever i was really young and at this time they were always in and out of court battling for custody over my sister and i well the one day my dad drives my mom downtown to the courthouse because she didn't have a ride and before she gets out of the car she's like can i give the girls a hug and my dad was like yeah go ahead Little background information, I was more of a daddy's girl. My sister was more of a mommy's girl, which is probably the reason why she took her. I was sitting by the window, my sister was sitting in the middle seat. So she gives me a hug. Next thing I know, my sister's seatbelt was unbuckled and my mom was running across the street with her in the middle of downtown. Didn't even look for cars. So my dad got out of the car, ran over, grabbed her, picked both of them up and walked over to the sidewalk and my mom was screaming bloody murder. So this guy called the cops and my dad was trying to show them custody papers because he had full custody. But the cop knew my mom, so he let her take my sister. We got her back, but I didn't see this bitch for like four months. What the fuck is it gonna take to get rid of this bitch? You can't get rid of me, bitch! I'm not going nowhere! I'm not going no fucking where! Y'all, a cheater is a cheater, and if he's a cheater, then he's going to cheat. It don't matter what you do, what you say, how you dress, how you act, or what you change for him. If he wants to cheat on you, he's going to cheat on you. And a lot of the times, the girl that he cheats with is not prettier or better than you. I'm going to explain why. Men that cheat, not men, boys that cheat <laughs> are very insecure. And a lot of the times, they get with girls who are too much to handle because they want to see if they can get him. They get him, they fall in love, but then they realize, oh, this girl's too good for me. Oh, this girl could get anybody she wants. She might cheat on me. She might do me dirty. And their ego starts to suffer a little bit. So what they do is they go and talk to other girls and do stuff with other girls to boost their ego a little bit. But you need to know that they're actually really insecure, really broken, and have nothing going for themselves. If they have to cheat on somebody to feel better about themselves, Oh, honey, <laughs> you, you dodged the bullet with that one, okay? Don't worry about it, keep it. An actual, natural makeup look, and I have no tan on. So I'm first of all gonna brush through my eyebrows, pop in a brow gel, brush on a tiny bit of foundation, pop on some concealer to your high points, pop on some blusher, a bit of highlight to your inner corner along your nose and a bit on your chin, curl your natural eyelashes, pop on some mascara, Add on a natural lip liner, then pop on a lip plumper. And there we go, we have a natural makeup look. Wait, they go check the electric fence or something. Who is it? Who are you? What do you want? Oh my god, you've gotten fat. Come in, come, come. What is my perfect crime? I break into Tiffany's in midnight. Do I go for the vault? No, I go for the chandelier. It's priceless. As I'm taking it down, a woman catches me. She tells me to stop. It's her father's business. She's Tiffany. I say no. We make love all night. In the morning, the cops come and I escape in one of their uniforms. I tell her to meet me in Mexico, but I go to Canada. I don't trust her. Besides, I like the cold. Thirty years later, I get a postcard. I have a son, and he's the chief of police. Please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please. Please. <gasps> oh my god! Pop on an eye cream a serum, pop on a lip scrub and exfoliate, 
add on a moisturiser. And then finally, a pop on a overnight sleeping gel. Crazy story time of when I used to work at Tilly's, so buckle up. This middle-aged mom walks in the store, right? And she just starts walking around the men's section and literally just grabbing everything she sees. I mean, she's not even looking at the sizes. So we thought that was weird, so we went up and asked her if she needs any help, and of course she said no. Then she decides that she wants to try everything on. So I unlocked a room for her, and then I told her that she can only have seven at a time, and she literally had a million things, and she just ran in, shut the door, and cut me off. So we started to get suspicious, so I started talking over my little headset thingy and telling the people around the store what's going on. We knocked on the door like three times, asking if she needed help or needed any other sizes, and of course she just said no again. Then she comes barging out and literally runs, runs to the front door and just leaves. So I walk in to see, and there's literally a bloody tampon on the floor. Two days later, she comes back to the store? I don't know why. Story time, motherfuckers. My boyfriend throws this party. I'm like, can I bring my best friend? He says, I don't really know her. And then I was like, I'm going to bring her anyway. A little bit into the party, he's like, I'm going to go pick up my friend. And I was like, okay. I sat outside. My best friend was inside. I thought she was. I didn't really care what she was doing. I trusted her. He comes back 30 minutes later, comes outside, and everything is fine. He's not suspicious at all. I then sleep over at his house that night. He's in the shower, and his phone is blowing up, like, blowing up. And I'm like, who the fuck is that? My Snoopy ass looks on his phone. It's this guy, Luke. And he doesn't have any friends named Luke. It was constant text like, you need to break up with her. You can do so much better, blah, blah, blah. And then Luke says, you know she's my best friend. She can't know about this. So I sat there. They've been hooking up our whole relationship. So I tell his mom and I leave. I'm a fucking circus. This is a